Hi everyone, so this is my first video on this channel and um, with me we are going to talk about LSF, Langue des Signes Française. So I'm way not qualified to really teach you um, LSF, but I think it's important just to talk about it a little and maybe it will make some of you want to, to, to start this language. It would be cool. <laughs> Um, usually when you you have to choose a language to learn, you think about Spanish, about Chinese, Portuguese, and that's so cool. Like, I love to learn new languages. But um, LSF, I think it's important to also uh, know how to, to sign it, not to speak it, to sign it because... Um, it's like a whole part of your community that you can communicate with. Like, they don't understand us, we don't understand them. No communication at all. So maybe it would be nice to, to all of us to know a little about sign language, to just have a basic conversation and communication with people, with all sorts of people. So today we're going to talk about the history of LSF in its globality. To begin with, the antiquity. During the antiquity, if you were a deaf person, you were considered to be a person who cannot think. Because you cannot talk. If you cannot talk, you cannot think. That's what they thought. A lot of thoughts. <laughs> And you were also considered as a simple-minded person, along with the fact that you cannot think and cannot thought. So, you were a simple-minded person. It is during the 60th century that uh, deaf people started to be recognized, but only the rich ones. Um, actually, only the children of the nobles could hope to receive a special education. And it is uh, Pedro Ponce de Leon, uh, the first preceptors uh, to teach uh, those children, the noble ones. It is truly during the 80th century, in 1760, that there was a huge a step forward for the deaf community. An emblematic character of this community, uh, l'abbé de Lippe, created a school that gathers deaf children to teach them. It is the simple fact of gathering a deaf people and deaf children um, that really helped the language to develop itself. The method of uh, l'abbé de l'épée was not perfect to teach those children because he was trying to adapt uh, French syntax to the LSF and it wasn't possible because uh, the sign language does not use words, so you cannot use French syntax to, to, to a sign language. This school was still useful because of this simple fact of gathering deaf people. The language really, really uh, developed itself. The little fact that leads uh, L'Abbé de Lippe to start all of this, the school, uh, etc was uh, that one day he saw two twin sisters uh, signing uh, to each other and communicating through uh, sign language. And that's when he understood that, um, well, uh, the deaf community existed and that um, sign, like, sign language existed too. Unfortunately, in 1880, uh, Congress forbade um, sign language, like completely forbade it. Um, it was the Congress of Milan and uh, it was an oralist movement who uh, started all of this. And uh, they evoked three reasons to that. Uh, the first reason was that um, LSF was not considered as a real language. Um, the second uh, reason was that um, the sign language uh, prevents uh, to breathe correctly 
and so it encouraged uh, the tuberculosis. That's why they stopped it. And the, th the, the third reason was that um, the LSF uh, do not allow to speak about uh, God. It did not allow to speak about God, so they forbid it. This prohibition will last a hundred years. It's a lot for a language. Uh, it means that the LSF did not develop itself during a hundred years. Deaf people actually had to hide, to sign to each other and to communicate. During that time, uh, the language has become poorer. And so a uh, hundred years later, it is the renewal of the sign language. We call it the deaf awakening. And uh, linguists and uh, linguist searchers uh, as, uh, like um, William Stokoe, uh, Christian Cusack and Bernard Mottes succeed to put forward the deaf culture. So we start to be interested again into uh, the education of deaf people. In 1980, uh, an association even succeeded to uh, create some activities to do between parents and deaf children. And uh, they created together uh, bilingual classes too. And now the 90s, when uh, LSF starts to appear on media. La Marche du Siècle is a French TV show about debates that tackles uh, society subjects. And they dedicated a whole show to the LSF and the deaf community. And that's how French people um, learned uh, the existence of deaf people and uh, the language of deaf people, the LSF. And in 1993, uh, Nicolas Philibert made a documentary around uh, the deaf universe and he called it uh, Le Pays des Sourds. In 1993, uh, Nicolas Philibert made a documentary around the deaf universe and he called it uh, Le Pays des Sourds. And the same year, Emmanuel Nabori, a deaf comedian, won a Mol the Molière of uh, the theatrical revelation for her role in uh, Les Enfants du Silence. Now there's even associations that uh, accept hearing people into their association to learn them the LSF. We continue with the years uh, 2000s and uh, now that the mentalities have evolved and continue to evolve, uh, the ethnologue uh, Yves de la Porte created and published in 2007 uh, the Etymological and Historical Dictionnaire of the LSF. There's an association that exists that is used to promote uh, the bilingual education for deaf children. And this association is called uh, Two Language for an, uh, an Education. Uh, in French, Deux Langues pour une Education. And it is uh, simplified by Deux LPE. All of this is only added little victories to the deaf community. And now you can even have a diploma to become an interpret in LSF. And all those fights uh, for the community to be recognized and for the language to be recognized uh, ended up fruitful uh, because uh, the 11th February of 2005, a law uh, recognized the LSF as a true language. And the LSF even became um, an option for the baccalaureate in 2008 and uh, there is even a CAPES that is created for the LSF. Thank you all for watching my video, I hope you liked it and see you next time for my next video about LSF. Bye.